Right team, off uh, a bit later today. It's, not, it's nearly lunchtime. <laughs> nearly lunchtime, we haven't even left. Um, but that's alright. Still a New Year's holiday. Um, hope everyone had a good break and we're back into it really. Not too much of a rest. Um, so off to Wellington today for a scuba dive, a shore dive. Looking for some scollies and some craze, so something a little bit different. But I want to scope out a few spots and see, uh, yeah, see if we can just jump in and grab a feed, so it should be all good. Gathering scallops is actually the whole reason why I went and got my um, scuba ticket. Thought, oh shit, I don't really want to fart around f for half a day free diving, um, trying to find a spot and then sort of having to dive and grab one at a time sort of thing. I thought, oh, if I get my tank ticket, I'll be, um, be into it, be into the scallops and get in there and get out. Yeah, when you get a bit time poor, just make it a bit easier to um, skill up a bit, tool up a bit, and get in there and get it done. So, uh, yeah, not much is changing for us. Got a few big goals this year, but uh, you'll see them all happen, hopefully, or you'll see attempts at them. <laughs> big thank you to all my subscribers. Yeah, um, just clocked over a thousand subscribers, so pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, so I just keep rolling out the content. Really appreciate you guys and what you do. In terms of watching and liking and commenting so keep it up and uh yeah bigger and better things so thank you very much see you up there Awesome team just pulled up to Kobe in Wellington. Mint day. Mint day, so I'm just gonna head out out into here somewhere. Hopefully try and find some scollies. Uh, probably around about 10, 15 meters deep. I stay around that region and just work my way up and down the beach, um, gradually getting deeper and deeper until hopefully I come across something. It's quite silty in the space, so you just gotta be a bit more careful on when you're on the bottom not to disturb too much. Um, as the clouds up pretty quickly. I've just got the cuzzy down here jumping in the water too. Cheer about that. I mean to see people out there doing it, so yeah, we'll get into it. A 12 year old. Just get out a little bit deeper, guys.
Okay, so that was an awesome dive. It's, um, it's a bit more chilled out than a cray dive. Didn't manage to um, blow as much air, so only went to like eight, nine meters, I think 10 meters max. But um, yeah, so it's under water for a good 40, 45 minutes. Just cruising around, checking things out, and I uh, managed to get a few get a few scallops too. So real happy with that. Um, yeah, we're off for a feed, get some um, surface time, and then gonna hit the other side for some craze. Hopefully, we'll see how the see how the sea is. But uh, still nice. That's all the gear wash and tidied up. It's bloody windy now. Um, I'm just gonna shuck these, shuck these, I'm about to say power, I'm about to say shuck these power. I'm just gonna shuck these scallops and get them inside. Everyone's a bit knackered, so um, probably be a bit of a chill out evening. I might whip around the back lawn if I get time, if I can be bothered, but um, old Rowdy over here. Just getting rid of the last of the air. So I might slowly just let that leak out. No surprises for the old mate filling it up. Awesome dive for the scallops, obviously, obviously the sea chopped up and it was um, a bit stink to go for a cray dive so maybe later on this week we'll suss something out, see if I can get one of the boys to jump on the boat and be a boatman for me, but see how it goes. So I'll get into shucking these scallops and we'll see what we can come up with for dinner. Probably the best way I'll find for shucking scallops is a trunk. If it's open it's cool, jam your thumb in there, see how that's grabbing onto me. Um, and I like to take the scallop off the round part of the shell first so it leaves me with a nice flat shell to work with getting all the eyes out and the gills off so I just work my knife in underneath this underneath here until you find the main muscle and then push the muscle off the shell there which then opens up opens up the scallop just like that take the first set of eyes off I'm going to get this little um, poo bag out too, little waste sack off the edge of the row there, a little black spot there. And then you get the other set of eyes off there as well. We just, we just call it the skirt, looks like a skirt. Pull the skirt off. That, when you cook that piece, it ends up going tough and chewy. Uh, underneath the row here, this bit here, it looks like little fine fibers. Those are the gills, so we take the gills off as well. Then you're left with a nice flat shell to work with. Take that scallop off there. And away you go, that's you. Last one, which means this one's going down the hatch. Definitely my favorite food of all time, scallops. This way, raw, straight out of the shell. Absolutely unbeatable. Go and see how the ladies want these cooks.
Sweet ass, kill those buggers half an hour, come back, chuck our food on.